Now it's time for our featured story of the night. Let's do it. Yeah. All right, everybody. Talking about superhero stuff, talking about some fun stuff. Well, now it's time to get into some stuff that's a little more, you know, there's a little bit more to it. So I want to talk about Jonathan Majors, and I call this a Majors problem because we don't really know. These are allegations. Update, and, updated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we're, we're getting, let me get my, my spiel first. I know, Chris, I, let know, me get into I, it. I know. I have a problem with let me get into it. Let me get into it. So I want to talk about Jonathan Majors. So Jonathan Majors has, was arrested on Saturday night, March 25th in New York, for what they're saying is strangulation, assault, and harassment of a woman who happened to be what they're saying is his girlfriend. In a taxi, they're saying it happened, and they went back to his apartment. And in there, apparently the cops were called, 911. They arrested him, and he went to jail. Now they let him out, and all of his, his lawyers came forward and said that he's innocent. He's the victim, all right? And what happened wasn't anything that he caused. It was because she was having a mental episode. She went to the hospital. He was the one that called 911, they're saying, because he was worried about her. They're saying there's camera footage in the taxi. The taxi driver will actually like testify and come forward. They're saying he or she's dropping the charges. So everything is pointing that something bad happened that night. And whatever happened, he was worried about her. She called the cops. The cops listened to her. And this happened. He got arrested. Now he's in. A, now he's been charged. Everything's going forward. It's not dropped right now. But his lawyer is saying that it will be dropped at the end of the day. He'll be cleared as you know as as, as innocent. And now what the cops said is that he struck her in the face with an open hand, caused substantial pain and a laceration on her ear. They also accused him of putting his hand on her neck, causing bruising and substantial pain. And um, yeah, they granted a um a limited order of protection against majors. And then after this happened, and this is how it works sometimes, everybody, this happened, and all of a sudden, two directors came out and said, oh, yeah, he's not a good person, which, ballsy choice, people, ballsy choice when you don't know all the information to come out and call someone out and say they're an asshole. Well, they're saying that he's a sociopath. A.B. Allen and Tim Nic- Nikolai came forward and said that he's both professionally and, um, and, you know, he's vicious, they're saying. He's cruel, he's vicious, and an abusive human being. Ballsy to say that. When something comes out like this and you don't have all the information. So for me personally, when I first heard about this, I'm like, me here, but you hear about Kang the Conqueror. He's playing a villain. He's Kang the Conqueror. You're like, oh shit, this is not good for Marvel, for him, for everything moving forward with his career. He's in Creed. He is Kang. He's the person that's like running the world right now. He's the villain moving forward in this new Marvel phase. So for me, you know, we all, you hear this stuff in the news, you automatically think the worst, you know, you just do. And there's a lot of information we don't know. There's a lot of information we don't know and when we're going to get it as it trickles in. Like I said before, even the whole thing about him calling 911 didn't come forward at first. They were saying that she called 911. And then, you know, apparently her whole story changed as soon as the cops showed up. It sounds like a bad relationship. She's not going to cooperate with the charges. So, well, she's already, they're always saying that she's going to drop the charges. So, well, no, 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 it hasn't been dropped yet. It has not been dropped yet, GR. They're saying it's still going to go towards May. They're saying that it will be dropped. They haven't officially made that announcement yet. But they're saying that no, she's going she to. Dropped her. Any yeah, time. yeah. But she won't. Yeah, she, she, won't she already took it back. With the police. She's already said that. She already that took it back. Yeah. This morning. Yeah, and she took it back. Directors have set themselves up for a, a, a slander lawsuit so big, he'd never have to work another day in his life. Well, that's the thing, though, too. Like, uh, that's ballsy to come forward and say that. But the other thing, though, I, 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 there's also a flip side to this. You know, I, you know, they were they're probably out all night because apparently this call happened at 11, and 8, 11 a.m. and they said they took a taxi home and then it happened at their apartment. They said something happened to the taxi and then they had the call actually went to the apartment, which is weird. It's a little weird. It sounds like a drunk night out and they had a fight. And they were saying that he was texting other girls. And then once he was texting other girls, he wouldn't show his phone. And then she flipped out. And then the situation happened. And it's just like, you know, I just, it's 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 tough, you know. It sounds like they just had a spat and then some bad stuff happened. But again, like where did these, where'd these uh, lacerations come from? How does she have marks on her neck? There's a lot of questions here. And the thing is, like, can they, will they still go after him? Will his career be fucked up from this, even if he's cleared? Because people make assumptions, like these directors, like online, like right after this happened, everyone fucking went after him, you know? Everyone went after him. 
So that's the question I bring out here today. I mean, regardless of what happens down the line, Chris, do you think that he's going to have ramifications on his career moving forward because of this, even if he is innocent? Yes. Do you think so? If but how do you come? Can you come back from it? I I don't know. But she's taking it back out. She's taking it back. Things are going back and forth. Like if he didn't do it, this shouldn't be. This shouldn't be. A, a, there shouldn't be anything happening. You know. He got screwed. Well, that's what that's you wonder. You think about it. What as they're talking about it, you think Amber Heard shit. You know what I mean? Is this Amber Heard shit, or 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 is it real? That's true. That's true. You know, because that's always the that's what you wonder right away. Because when you hear it being taken back, and the fact that you know she has these marks. That's a good. That's a good point. That's a good point. No, 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 let's get, okay, yeah, it's just, it's just, that's the thing, it's like the lawyers are going to figure it out, but the, his lawyer also is going to say whatever they want to say because they want their client to be cleared, you know, so that's going to happen, I don't know, it sounds like a bad relationship to me, and whatever happened, it sounds like she freaked out, and then she said whatever she said, and then she takes it back, it's just messy for him, at a time in his career where he's like surging, he's everywhere, it's like the worst thing that could happen to him, and people make assumptions, you know, people just go nuts about it, you know, and even, you know, his lawyer's uh, – jo- and, and here's what Rachel said. His lawyer's job is to defend him, so I would take their word worth a grain of salt, which is what I was just saying too. And a lot of uh, DV victims drop charges, so until proof comes out either way, the media people shouldn't speculate, which is also true. We shouldn't speculate. GR, GR what do you think? Do you think that his career is going to be messed up from this, or do you think he's going to come back from this from no problem? I think if, if it was – he was found guilty of something like that, it, his career should get screwed up. But just because yeah. somebody says something and you can't do that terrible thing as you may, because you know what it is, being an ass out of you and me, you can't you can't assume somebody's guilty any more than you can assume he's innocent. But in this country, you're innocent until proven guilty. So why castrate the guy until you know the facts? Well, that's the whole thing. And, and that's what an people do, though. Know, you know. But people do that right away. They do that right away. That's the first thing they do is they hear they they hear this buzzword and then they just go crazy, you know. And then and then and then uh, once they hear it, they just go nuts. And then the internet goes nuts. Like people just start like dropping shit. Like oh, but then my biggest thing though too, it's like like Rachel was saying, like you know people do take stuff back. That's the thing. Like people will get beat up and they'll take it back. And she had physical injuries, but they could have came from someplace else. But she had physical injuries. And do you think, Chris, do you think these directors you think what they said is true at all? Do you think that they're just or do you think that they just put their foot in their mouth? What do you think? You got anything on me, Chris? What do you got? What do you got for me? What? It's very hard to say. Because yesterday I wanted him I wanted him in jail, like done. Yeah. Today I read new things, and I don't I don't know what to believe. Like I don't know what to believe. Sabrina just joined us right now, so uh, we're gonna bring Sabrina in here too. I, so we're talking about Jonathan Majors right now, and uh, you know it's like the whole thing is it's like you hear this, you hear that, you know she has these marks on her. They're you know they're also saying that he called nine one one first and that he was worried about her. Do you think this is going to hurt his career, Sabrina, or do you think that he'll be fine? Like, what do you think about this? I, I honestly, I, I, depending upon what the situation is, I hope that it, I hope that it hurts his career. Like, I, you can't, if he's innocent, you can't beat people no. up and like be fine with it. Like, I know it's, it's like a battered woman. Like, I feel like he's not innocent. Who said he's innocent? Well, his he's lawyer says he's innocent. innocent well, you know, that's about it. Well, of course his lawyer like, says he's that's innocent. That's what a lawyer does. You know, she has these marks on her. She said this stuff. Yes. She's taking it back. It's it's just it's just tough to know. And then the lawyer says they'll be cleared. I want to see what these taxi footage shows, you know? I want to see what that shows. We'll know more about that because they're saying the taxi's going to clear it all up. I don't know. But why are you coming back in a taxi? They said they were out all night at 11 a.m. Like, what were you doing all night? That's also another thing, too. Why is she taking it back, too? Like, 
I don't know, but if you're if you're going to jail for strangling your girlfriend, like I think there needs to be a long, hard look into what's going on. Yeah. Well, that's, well, that's like a good point. And if Disney chooses not to take action on him for something, then um, I, I feel like they're supporting domestic abuse. Well, I mean, honestly, the, the, the charges haven't been dropped completely. You know, they're saying that she's recanting her stuff now, which like Rachel said in the chat, women do that sometimes, or, 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 or victims, I should say, victims, man or women, they do that sometimes because it's like, you know, the next day you're worried about your your loved one, you know, like, oh, this, this just, just happened, you know, it's just, that was a time it happened, like, I love you, I love you, I love you, and then you get over it. So it could be something like that. You don't know yet. His directors, like two directors came out as soon as this happened and said that, oh yeah, he's abusive, he's an asshole. He's and I worry about hard. MCU, I worry about what's gonna happen with him, I worry about her, I worry about the whole situation. Kevin Feige, he's probably like, fuck, you know what I mean? Thinking about this, and also we just talked about earlier about with his, his former you know, president where they actually had deal with that shit too, there might be a lawsuit. So there's a lot happening in the house of mouse right now. And I'm worried about what's going to happen with all that. And they have lots of plans for Kang the Conqueror. And I don't know where it's going to go right now. You know, the army it dropped him from the ads. Dead on. It does happen. They retract what happened? out of fear. Yeah, that can happen. And that's the thing, too. And it's like maybe, I mean, until we see the footage, until we get all the information, we're not going to know really what's going on there. You know, we're just, we're just not. And that's just what it is. But as of right now, all we can do is speculate, and everyone's speculating a lot. Like I said before, people have gone nuts online about it right away, being like, fuck this guy. And then some people are like, you know, you know, as opposed to just waiting to see what happens. But again, yeah, but honestly, if you think if they if if someone if someone beat the shit out of their girlfriend, okay, let's just say allegedly beat the shit out of their girlfriend, who is a huge rising star at the moment. Do you think that when huge. he gets out of jail in five minutes because he's a huge rising star that he's not going to go home and talk to his girlfriend and be like, you're going to ruin my career and either threaten her or apologize profusely so that she takes it back and he doesn't get in trouble. Like, let's be realistic. And if two directors are willing to corroborate his fucking insolence and, and fucking hostile attitude, like, I don't, I mean, I'm, I'm more inclined to believe that he is in the wrong, honestly. Yeah, I mean, if people are comparing him to Ezra Miller now, that's a whole thing. People are like being like, look at that. DC has Ezra and Marvel has Kang the Conqueror we have problems with. So, well, which Ezra is also is just a hot mess throwing shit and acting like a lunatic and starting cults. Like, this guy beat the shit out of his girlfriend. There's a bit of a difference. Allegedly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're, we're, you're talking like what's a known fact. Nothing's fucking known. It's a joke. Very Get true. The fucking investigation completed. Then point fingers. This bullshit. Oh, he's a terrible guy. That's slander. You don't know that. No, I didn't say he was a terrible guy. A, I said two directors corroborated the fact that no, he no, had a fly off the earlier, handle attitude. I said right? before you joined back in the show. Fair I said enough. What they did yeah, is slander. And I would I would have their ass in the courtroom tomorrow if it was me. Yeah. Because you gotta yeah. be able to prove something like that. And you they let's can't. wait till the investigation's completed before we start telling the guy. I mean, he may be an absolute asshole. I don't know, and neither do you. And until uh, the investigation's completed, none of us would do. That's and MCU, true. And like Rachel said, MCU uh, has recast before. I, here's what I think, though. Too, here's the one thing that we talked about before: his story for the MCU. He apparently went in for the audition for Kang. And uh, they took too long, so he told them pretty much to go fuck themselves, and he started walking out being like, you're wasting my time. And then they begged him to come back in and audition, which that sign right there, if I were a producer, I would tell this guy to go fuck himself. They should have seen that there would be problems on the wall. But then again, maybe he didn't do anything. I'm just saying like, he seems like he could be a little cocky already. So who knows? I'm not saying cockiness leads to beating your girlfriend up, but he had, they had problems from day one, and now they have more problems now. So we'll see how Marvel deals with it. I don't know. You know, the house of mouse has to deal with it. And hopefully if, if he did do this, then he should be charged. If he didn't do it, then she should be charged. You know what I mean? For lying, because we don't need any more Amber herds. We don't need any guys beating women up. We don't need either. You know what I mean? So regardless of how it goes down at the end, let the facts lay on the table and let Marvel deal with those pieces where they lay. Because honestly, like Rachel said, they recast before it happened with Iron Man before when they were recasting. So they didn't recast Iron Man, but 
like police are not going to show up somewhere and you know arrest somebody for no reason like amber heard tried to get johnny depp arrested several times and they never did because there was no evidence so they took him to jail for a reason now i'm not saying that it's because he did what she said he did or what the situation is but like you know police are not going to take a celebrity especially into custody without any evidence whatsoever there has to be a reason that they arrested him okay. you know what i mean first off as a cop you come into a situation a, a family situation and you see bruising on the woman he's going in regardless of what the facts are they don't know yet oh yeah the street cops do their job possible abuse possible beating up whatever take him in that's why he was out in five minutes he wasn't he wasn't in jail more than two hours but you don't think he was out that quick because he's famous, not because no, he didn't do it? That has nothing to it, it, no, Excuse me. It does have, in many cases, a lot to do with it. But okay. in a case like this, they didn't have any. They had a 911 tape that we haven't heard. And if he called them, it's a, I mean, you'd have to be an absolute moron if you were beating up somebody to call 911 so they can get taken in and you can get arrested. So we yeah. don't know. We don't know the facts. And to sit here and say he's a, what, whatever the two directors said. Oh, yeah, sociopath. You know, they, they really got into him, you know? That's what I said. Like, if it was me, all right, and I was his attorney, either one, I'd have the rest in court tomorrow and let the legal system run the gamut. And if he's guilty, fry his ass. But if he's not, a whole lot of people owe him an apology. Which is also interesting because it's like, uh, for me, they jumped on it right away, and then we we don't. There's no information moving forward. Like not much stuff has come out besides that he made the 911 call. It's kind of been a stalemate right now. It's been pretty quiet the past couple of days. So I thought there'd be more information coming forward, but really nothing really has happened. We, even the lawyer is saying this shit. Where's the tape? Show us the footage. You know, put it out there. But only time will tell, everybody. Only time will tell. Honestly, and, I, and if, like I said before, if he's guilty, take him out. Don't be doing that, you know. And I'm still sketchy about the strangulation marks and, you know, the beating marks. It's really weird that she had marks all over her. I don't know how she got that. It could have happened somewhere. You know, we, we look at Amber Heard, shit happens. But for me, it's a little sketchy. Well, Amber we'll Heard see, makeup. Yeah, it was makeup, you know, but, you know. Only time will tell. And you know what I mean? Hopefully this clears up and everybody's going to be okay. Hopefully she's okay. If he did do something, hopefully she's okay and she gets out of it. And if she did something, take that bitch down.